All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, welcome back to the Outer Worlds. Let's go on ahead and get back to the ship and Shepard Felix over to his companion mission. May you find peace in death. We're doing good. <coughs> so this is... Keep moving. Just taking the scenic road. The purple nyan road. What? That's one down. I've had quite enough of you. Did he blow part of his face off? No, oh, just his arm. Ooh. Just put him down. All right. And we just push a little head, just a little bit. Back on the ship. Okay. Let's go talk to v Vicar Max first. What am I doing this? I can just go up the stairs. How do you feel? As always, I am at your disposal. Anything you'd like to discuss? I wouldn't say my parents disowned me, strictly speaking. But before they died, they accused me of thoughtlessly abandoning them. I couldn't understand it. I was only trying to make them proud by becoming a better vessel for the plan, to feel the joy they felt. I was so certain my potential was wasted as a laborer, and was willing to risk everything just to prove to them that they were wrong. I was lost, misguided. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I guess that's it. Status report. Thirteen. Jobs. 
And off we go to go get uh, this thing for Felix. Talk to Harlow. Oh no, I have that. I just need to equip the quest. Shit, what? Did, did he not get selected? Captain, got a minute? <laughs> Shit. Yeah, sure, hey, what's Hey, Captain. Up? Next time we're in Byzantium, there's something I've been meaning to do. What's that? I haven't actually talked to my folks in a while. Shocking, right? Anyway, it's probably about time I paid them a visit. Given the dangerous life I lead, they've got to be worried sick. Funny you didn't strike me as the type who keeps in touch. Which brings us to where we are today, several messages and a few years late. See, I'm originally from Byzantium, born and raised. I know that probably comes as a big surprise. And now you just want to catch up with them? Really, I would have never guessed. Actually, I see it. But I worked so hard. I dropped the accent, picked up a swagger, developed a taste for spacer's choice. That's the problem. You try a little too hard. Uh, you gotta put forth a little more effort if you want to pass for real scum. <laughs> Maybe I could skip a few more showers, drink milk straight from the jug. Yeah, I'll try that. Thanks. In any case, this'll still be a shock to my parents. <laughs> I bet they'll barely recognize me. I don't see why you can't uh, go see them when it's convenient. Uh, I'm proud of you, Ellie. Of course, uh, you should reconnect with your parents. Absolutely not. I forbid it. Why would I? Oh, well... I was thinking you'd come too. Oh. Got work to do. Uh, what? Why do you want me to meet your parents? Because it would be fun. Level with me, Ellie. What's this really about? It's, well, they know me as Marilyn the Surgeon. They don't know Ellie the Pirate Sawbones. But you, your authentic rabble true riffraff when they see you they'll get it gee thanks uh so you want to show off your pleb friend to your fancy parents real mature i only wish i could pull it off as well uh, is this going to get weird is it <laughs> of course not i mean not unless you want to bring a feral canid or a mantis on a leash That'd make a real impression. Okay. Great. And when we get there, draw out your rough edges a bit. If you've got an outfit you haven't washed in a while, maybe one with some blood stains, wear that one. I'll take care of dressing myself, thanks. You're the boss. Anything else? Nah. But you're funny. <laughs> We'll, we'll talk we'll talk once we uh once bef once again about this once we actually get there but I, I need to talk to Felix oh my god Ellie <laughs> all right out once once more <clears throat> Son of a bitch! A key. It's not. Tr it's not square to select. It's square to leave. One more time, or I swear to God, I'm going to scream. All right. I'm gonna try this again. All right, lovely.
Hey, you. Looking for something? No. Where do you think you're going? Inside. Hey, nice form. Good delivery, too. You looking to join Captain Harlow's crew, huh? No. All right, go on through. Okay. Got my sights on you. Shut up. All right, Harlow. Well, hey there, Hullhead. Clawed your way out of the groundbreaker at long last? Uh-huh. Oh, sorry, were you expecting me to say something? Maybe a long time no see or a you've aged old man? Well, this is awkward. Uh, I'll just let you two work this out. So, you took Felix under your wing. Kept him busy. Good. Kid always needed a place to belong. I don't know what you're trying to say, but he's earned his keep with us. Yep. Hear that, Clyde? I've been making something out of myself. So long as you haven't been making a fool of yourself. I'm sure Felix has no end of stories to tell of your exploits together. I look forward to catching up with the boy. Uh, tell me why we're here. How long is that gonna take? I'm working on something. Something big. Something the likes of which Halcyon has never seen. And I want Felix to be a part of my initiative. I'm fulfilling a promise I made to the boy. That one day, he and I would change the colony together. Mm -hmm. That day has finally arrived. Easy there, Clyde. No one said nothing about throwing in with you. In case you didn't notice, I'm pretty happy where I am. I'm not asking you to walk away from your captain, Felix. But neither should you allow yourself to be controlled by fear. Change is not to be feared. I brought you here because I want to know where Felix's loyalties lie. When the day of our revolution comes, I want to know that I can rely on him. A revolution? You want to put him through a test, then allow me to enlighten you? Felix is loyal to me. You expect me to just stand by, uh, just stand, hand over my own crew? Go fuck yourself? Good luck. Uh, he's at least a reliable cr uh, crew on the ship. Literally called the unreliable. Oh, it's he's the least. Okay, no. Everyone in my crew proves their loyalty. No exceptions. Not even Felix. I want you to deal with a traitor for me. Name's Trask. Kill him and bring me proof of his death. His ring should do nicely. What did Trask do to deserve death? Can't control your own people, Harlow. Uh, let's pretend I care about you. Uh, uh, take care of your problem. What happens after that? Ratted us out to the board. He's been an informant. Has been for years. When he realized I was onto him, he and his little cadre mutinied. Killed five of my own and tucked tail. I don't know where he's hiding, but his wife might. Rosanna. Lives on the groundbreaker last I checked. Rosanna knows my crew by name and face, but you're a stranger to her. She'll talk to you. All right, we'll take care of it. Uh, there's more to this than you're letting on. You think so? Maybe we should have a word with Trask. Get his side of the story first. You'd be wasting your breath bandying words with that traitor. But if it makes you feel better, by all means. Remember, I want proof. Bring me his ring. I don't care if the hand's still attached. Here, my token. Think of this as my personal signature. Anyone who knows me by my works will know me by this token. Okay. How well do you know Felix? There's something I'd like to add. Oh, okay. Well enough. It's been a few years, but I still remember a thing or two. You had a chip on your shoulder. You'd argue over anything and you'd never back down. What do you mean, had? And for the record, you never could admit when you lost an argument. You see what I had to deal with? Okay, well, uh, goodbye. That Harlow reminds me of my old dentist. And not in a good way. Why would it be in a good way? A lot of people don't actually like the dentist.
I don't have a particular problem with them. I just don't like, uh, I just don't like going to them in, in the middle of a pandemic. Off we go. Destination reached. The groundbreaker. Thank you, Ada. God, I hate loose eyelashes. Let's let's go. Let's go ask her. Like it. You mind trying to have a moment here? Uh, looking for a guy by the name of Rufus Trask. Yeah, I was called that once upon a day. You need something? Looking for your man. Uh... Rufus and I are no longer on speaking terms. I don't know where he is. And if I did, I wouldn't tell you. That's Harlow's mark, no mistake. Guess he's not letting this one go. I don't want any manner of harm befalling Rufus. Not on my account. Uh, not gonna lay a finger on him. You should worry about yourself. If Trask puts up a fight, it, uh, it won't be your fault. All right, I'll tell you where he is. Just get out of here, please. Rufus is hiding out in Emerald Vale. Got a few friends with him. That's as much as I know. Okay. Please, just make it quick. That's right. Our marriage contract expired some months ago. And seeing how he's technically an outlaw, I wouldn't renew even if I wanted to. Uh... How much do you know about him? Precious little. He and Rufus worked together on the Groundbreaker some years back before he vanished. A few years later, Rufus gets a message from an old friend. Something about starting a revolution. Something about getting rich. Abandoned his work and ran off that very day. I see. Sounds familiar, Felix. Harlow tells me uh, Trask betrayed him. Do you know anything about that? Only that Rufus is in a bad way. He came to see me a little ways back. Said he had to go into hiding. Never asked why. He was here to collect his personals, complain about Harlow to me, and say goodbye. In that order. Okay. Uh, he didn't tell you anything about Harlow? No, and he was particular about that. Said I was better off not getting entangled in his mess. Little late for that, says I. Appreciate it. No offense, meant. Just been a long day, is all. Okay, so we at least know what to do. And where to go. in we go. Okay. So, back to Terra 2. We are now in orbit above Edgewater, Captain. Alright. Well, I thought something was in the chair. <laughs> 
We'll be here, Captain. Or will we? Alright, so where exactly are we headed? All the way out there, Jesus. Alright, so we just gotta... Go through or past this place? What? Should I get over there? Maybe I see a path. Jackass is incoming. We good? We're good. Everyone, all right? Need to go in that cave? Oh my god, okay. Felix, calm down. Trask, let's have a talk. I don't know who you are or why you're prowling around here, but I'm willing to make a guess. You're one of Harlow's gun hands, ain't you? He sent you after me. Uh, that's right. Said you, uh, Harlow said you betrayed him. Makes you think I work for Harlow. Yeah, of course he did. Thing is, you and I are at an impasse. Arlo wants me dead, and I've got no intention of dying. Why'd you betray him? Arlo wants your ring as proof of death, that's all I'm after. Arlo wants my ring? Don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining. A ring's a lot easier to lose than a hand. How do I know that I can trust you? If I wanted to kill you, I wouldn't have started uh, be having this conversation. Yeah, guess that's a fair point. Listen, I don't know what lies Harlow's dripped down your ear, but you'd be a fool to trust him. I never betrayed Harlow. Harlow betrayed all of us. The board's got him in their pocket, been paying him off for years. All the palaver about revolutions? It's a lie. You're a real piece of work, Trask. Not just a turncoat, but a liar, too. Go piss up a rope, kid. I've got nothing to prove to you. That's the whole truth. Harlow's just another bored asset. A two-bit mercenary wearing a dissident's clothes. Uh, you're asking me to take you at your word? Show me some evidence. Yeah, I've got proof. There's always a paper trail when the board's involved. I chanced upon some correspondence between Harlow and his employer. I don't know that it makes a difference. <coughs> what was I to do with that evidence? Bring it in front of the board? There's no authority in Halcyon willing to take Harlow to task. Huh. You ain't like other board agents I heard about. You got a functioning spine. You want to confront Harlow yourself? Be my guest. I hid my papers before Harlow chased me out. Back in the middle of the base, there's an old vent in a utility corridor. I stashed my evidence in that vent. Okay. 
Oh, why would the board buy off Harlow? Because he's for sale. Anything the board can buy, the board will buy. And that includes loyalty. Harlow was a charismatic bastard, and he was ruthless. With Harlow in their pocket, the board had an informant, a pirate, a smuggler, and a gang leader all rolled up into one odious excuse for a human being. Sounds like a deal to me. Yeah, it really does. Board sanctioned piracy. Harlow went after the ships the board wanted destroyed, capturing anybody the board wanted captured. If we captured you, we'd ransom you. Harlow liked to do the job himself. Gather up the captives on his own ship, vanish for a couple of days. Only that's not what happened. Harlow's been selling his captives off to the board. I don't know where they ended up. Re-education, Tartarus, maybe worse. Okay, well, I've heard enough. Take it, you've made up your mind. You gonna tell Harlow I'm dead? May as well. I'm never going back to that life again. <sighs> Here, take the ring. And for what it's worth, my gratitude. Not a problem. Alright. Oh my god. What am I stuck on? Oh, a boulder. What is it? Is this a... Uh... There it is. There's the landing pad. Anybody? Ah, oh, goddamn! Of course, there's somebody in there. Never mind. I'll just go fuck myself then. <laughs> the way over here there's a quest there at the landing site there we go All right, Trask, I'm gonna expose you in a second. Clyde Harlow, agent of the board. Yeah, that sounds even more insane out loud than it did in my head. Then again, Trask knew he was a dead man. Could have been trying to shift the blame. Found the evidence, Felix. Your uh, friend's been bought off by the board. I've been trying to tell myself Clyde's got some sensible explanation for all this. But I just don't know. None of this is making a lick of sense to me right now. I think we need to have a word with Clyde. Obviously. Hey there, buddy. Hey, buddy, old pal. Old friend. Let's have a conversation. What's the word? <laughs> Not surprised. Trask was a dead man trying to negotiate with his own executioner. He'd say anything to preserve his life. That's a damning accusation. Am I right to presume you have some evidence on hand? Those papers don't prove a thing. We've all done business with the board. They own the whole damn colony. Trask put you up to this. And that miserable wretch. He's trying to undermine everything I stand for. You've got a lot of nerve calling me a liar to my face. Uh, come on, Harlow. Uh, why would Trask rat you out? Uh, rat out your own employers how should i know but what the hell do i care trask was a traitor i didn't ask you to understand his motives i asked you to cross him off clyde 
Look me in the eye and tell me it's not true. Tell me, and I'll believe you. Don't talk to me like I'm some common criminal, Felix. You're the one on trial, not me. I don't know what kind of poison that snake dripped in your ear, but as far as I'm concerned, you've been compromised. Looks like we're doing this. Oh lord, okay. Take some weapon parts, shall we? All is well. Um, Felix, let's see what we can. Maybe we can destroy something? Right, let's get out of here or shoot our way out of here, one of the two. see how well this works. Okay, that didn't actually tell me anything. I'll take this one. Alright, let's kill this last Heads guy and get back on the ship. The last two. Wait, do we need to talk to Felix? This is this is definitely not how I imagined it'd end. The void's black, water's wet. Clyde hated the board. That's something I just knew. Now? I don't know. I don't know what to think. You're just gonna have to come to terms with it. You never really know uh, what's going on in someone's skull. No. I guess you really don't. I've just got a lot on my mind right now. This is, uh, this is a lot to take in. Yeah, I understand. I always looked up to Clyde. The thought that he could be an agent of the board is just abhorrent to me. Look up to, uh, do not look up to anyone. I can understand why you're upset. You feel he betrayed you. Yeah, he did. And I'm not sure how I'm gonna get over that. It'll pass. Give it time. Get drunk for a start. I hope so. I don't see this one passing anytime soon. You've given me a lot to think about. I'm gonna be mulling over this whole mess for a couple of days. Part of me wishes we'd put Trask in the ground. You know, I think that's just my frustration talking. Thanks for your time, boss. Not a problem. Okay. So I don't actually need to speak to him on the ship, but we will uh, see what else the game has for us. Most likely Byzantium. We'll probably go to Byzantium straight out. Uh, when we return. So I thank you so much for watching, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire. If you're on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe. On Twitch, drop me a follow if you haven't already, and I will see you all next time. Mm -hmm.